So the road trip is being planned at the moment. It's a seven hour trip. We've got three different choices from Zurich to Borgo, Valsugana and Italy. Uh, so you can go either through the mountains or you can go through the mountains. Um, the weather is changing. It's getting a little cold out here. If you can see, um, it's wet and it's gray. So here's something really interesting that happened. Um, Back in Feb 2019, uh, we took part in an architectural exhibition. To cut the long story short, uh, a proposal won one of the honorable mentions. We didn't win the project, of course. Uh, but uh, fast forward about eight months later, which is um, last week, I think we get an email saying that, listen, so there's a competition uh, exhibition happening in Articella. That's where the project is in Italy. And uh, you're invited to come over, have a slot of uh, five minutes to present the project. So this is what the plan is for tomorrow. I'll be walking to the tram station. And then I'll take a tram to the station. Then I'll take a train from Bern to Zurich. almost an hour and then I change and I take another 15 minutes train to Talbil that is where Rafa is the secret garden so this is where we used to have a studio a couple of years ago Rafa is still here Hey, you okay? Good, good. Like good. I put it there or? You can put it there. Okay. Me. Uh, and then we'll drive from there. We'll drive directly through, I think we'll go east over the mountains. It depends on how, what the weather is like tomorrow. The plan, we go through Liechtenstein. Yeah. Matutz, through Liechtenstein, through Austria, then you take the Brenner. And we go down to Trento. So it's a five long. hours trip. 421 kilometers. Wow. You can hit the, the water. Smells <laughs> <laughs> good. Smells good. Smells good. Smells Oh, interesting. Rusted metal. <laughs> Welcome to Italy. So tell me something, what are your expectations from this uh, trip? I don't have huge expectations, I'm just excited to meet other people they worked on the same project. Hmm. And to see the different way to approach a the same problem of this destruction of the piece of art in the world and and to see what's what's the way of thinking of the other of the other guys and uh, I'm excited to to meet the president of the association of the seller because the guy who founded something like that he should be a kind of a genius and mm. Yeah, I'm excited to meet him and to, to listen to what he had to say. No, it's not actually. It's quite nice. Okay. Also. <laughs> Yeah. We've reached Trento right now and yeah, so tomorrow morning we leave after breakfast to Artesella.
Do you get a another address? <laughs> no, they don't have it. Artesel is not a. My only plan was like, okay, Trento is good. We can go early in the morning to Resurrection Fracture. spoken about the actual project so the project is pretty interesting um, it was based in Artisella. Artisella is this place in the middle of two mountains this is a place where a lot of contemporary artists and architects are invited they create the piece of art and they design the things and most of the the art pieces are just displayed there out in the open And what happened was in October 2018 there was a big storm there and majority of it was like devastated. There was devastation there. This was a drone uh, picture made by Giacomo. All trees down. 18 million trees in all the Alps of Italy fell down. 18 million. In five hours. So uh, a tsunami of air. Okay. And you see what happened. You see the crash in the Lucchi. You see Kodama there. You see all the mountain was totally peeled. And this was the Lucchi. It's a graveyard of art pieces now. So Artisella reached out to a lot of architects for ideas competition uh, to uh, number one uh, design studios or ateliers uh, for, a resident, uh, for resident artists or architects and number two to design a contemporary museum to probably display whatever is left of the destroyed art. Yeah. We got the first trip with the Art, the piece of art, and the destroyed wood from the thunderstorm. And then we can take the bus, go up to the uh, Valmalga, and there is another tree what? up there. That was the last parking lot, yeah. which is full. We can take the bus. We okay. show the ticket on this nice stuff here. I don't know what to say in English. Yeah, just whatever, like you did. Okay. The... And then you can go up by bus, <laughs> go up by bus, and up there is really huge. Okay. It's about maybe four four times the size. Really? Okay. Travel. It's in the boot and you can go up in the okay. and the tree. I will say we do fast this year, take yeah. some picture. Sure. Then we take the bus. Sounds good. And then we have we have two hour time. I think finally after two days of traveling through the <laughs> mountains and lakes and rivers <laughs> we've made it. This is it.
This is it. What I'm going to present today is more about our approach towards the project, stemming out of our need to find clarity in thought and purpose. Calamity Atelier is a unique combination of conditions, art, shelter, and nature. Conditions are expressed through emotions. Emotions are wedged in between memories of the past and fantasies of the future. This is where the project begins. The idea of expressing our architecture is through making sense of the five phases of this particular emotional journey of creation and of destruction and allowing an emotional response to it. Life is a combination of what we do with what we have and how we have responded to it. Shelter, knowledge, love and nature Obtaining a certain harmony within these aspects is what we build up towards. Destruction too follows after moments of uninterrupted creation. A fracture appears that changes the dynamics of how life is experienced. The harmony between the elements that we hold on to is uprooted. Shelter, knowledge, love and nature seek out new relationships. Creation evokes happiness, whereas destruction leaves trauma. Trauma is the pain of feeling the difference between what had been and what is only in negative. Trauma is attached to the memory of the past felt in the present. Destruction is followed by creation. But before the process begins, a consolidation must happen. New associations have to be formed on the foundations of old memories. Memories are precious. They are connected to the emotions experienced. The creation of an emotional response to the past experienced creates new memories and the cycle of creation continues. The Atelier Creation requires the right ingredients, a clear segregation of function, unambiguous interconnections between spaces of passive and active existence. We imagine an atelier to be a temporal space where the creator interacts with nature and shelter in a very clear manner, as is with transient spaces once inhabited, the space is transformed into a sanctuary of purposeful function. The museum, a sanctuary of memories or a graveyard that preserves the past using a language that reveals its content. A graveyard of past works that once graced the majestic landscape is fronted by a gateway that frames out the expectations gradually, one feeling at a time. Articella is in constant ebb and flow. It will change like the landscape around it. It should change like the landscape around it. Architecture should facilitate this beautiful emotional journey.